Hi guys, I've got a montage video for you today of um, eight items which all cost twelve pounds. Well, came to the total of twelve pounds, and um, is it yes, eight items came to twelve pounds, and we're just gonna go over what they are. First one is a air duster. So basically, you do things like this: clean your keyboard. That's probably the quickest thing to review, really. Um, all right, so let's go through the other stuff we have. So that was product one. Uh, next we have a micro USB data cable and I think you all know what a micro USB data cable is uh, it basically looks like the one from the Samsung um, the Samsung's Google Nexus 10 basically it looks exactly the same uh, and basically that one is like if anyone knows what the Galaxy S4 one looks like it's basically a black version of that. Cable feels mm, quite plastic as you can tell, but the actual ends to it look pretty decent and I guess with a bit of you bit of wear, because you can see it kind of coils a bit. But I'm guessing with a bit of wear over time it will go softer. Because they'll be doing a lot of that. And then it'll eventually work nicely. So that was another short one. Yep, yeah, short one. Next one. Um, this came for um, micro USB smartphones and for Apple phones. This is a USB, uh, yeah, micro USB docking station. I thought this was really cool as it seems to be. It is such a basic product. Yeah, such a basic product. But it's quite actually. It's such quite cool. Uh, I've not got a micro USB. Thing near at the moment, which is a bit of a shame because I'm filming this on my phone so I won't be able to dock anything in it. So it's a bit of a shame, but it's not the end of the world. It is kind of plasticky, but then again, it was a pound. So as you can see, it really is quite plasticky, but when you've got your phone in, you'll hardly really notice. Then yeah, that goes into USB, so it's like um, for charging. Pretty solid. Just focusing on it. That's zoomed out completely. Not zooming focus even. Oh my god, what is it doing? There you go. Alright, so anyway. So that is a micro USB docking station. Pretty basic, but just another and again, that was a pound. The um, previous item, the cable, that was also a pound. Um, next thing is probably the most... No, actually, I'm not going to do that. I, ha I bought two of this product. Two USB notebook coolers. I bought two so I can use one for my Xbox, one for my um, computer. Well, that's what I think I'm going to use them for anyway. And uh, so these they look like that and... Uh, blue LED. So let's take one out of the box. I won't take them both out. Just take one out. Quite a small fan but that's alright. Uh, I don't have a USB port free. What shall I do? Um, or do I have a USB? Yes, I have a free USB port. Gonna pop that into that. As you heard by that grinding noise, then that it is working. Let's try and get us to focus. Yeah, and there's your blue LED light. So that's two of those. And again, they were both just one pound. Uh, 
I was going to go along the line of getting things like speakers and stuff, but they're normally painfully bad. I'm saving the best two, like the best two value products for last. Ah, here we go. Here's some packaging that bugs everyone in the entire world. So what we've got here is a three piece um, LCD and LED screen cleaning kit. So we have a small microfiber cloth, a brush and a, I think this is a 50ml, I don't know how many millimeters this is. Then so we've got a cleaning solution. It says what, if you're wondering what the um, solution has in it, it is clean, it's water, lemon extract, alcohol, salt and um, I'm not sure whether to try to pronounce that word or not. I'm going to go... Cocomidopropyl betaine. Yeah, that that's not good, what I just pronounced it as. But yeah, so you've got spray. You spray a bit, you brush it in with the brush. It is a soft brush, so I can't imagine it scratching. And you wipe it clean with the microfiber cloth. Oh, just a nice little basic thing. Right. This again, still a pound. It's a, well, I think you can tell. It's a one meter HDMI cable. Um, there is there is something about this, and it really is surprisingly impressive. And it's the fact that it is a gold plated. HDMI cable. If I just pull off the two covers, you can actually see it's a gold plated one. Which I know it's not exactly hard to get a gold plated HDMI cable, but at a pound you really can't knock it. Now, I'm not going to be using it for anything too hardcore, just it's just going to be a casual HDMI because I know someone who's got one and um, you can tell that it is a pound shot one, but it is, it is HD. It's HD, it's fine, it's good. Yeah, so if you're short of money or just need another HDMI and don't want to go for an expensive one because the one I'm using at the moment is a monster cable and it was like 70 quid probably a silly idea but oh well the ones I normally use are probably in the 10-15 pound mark so it's nice to see that Poundland are coming out with a product to fight with the economy right now my last thing wasn't a pound this was a fiver, but I think this was really quite shocking that they actually sold these for a fiver. 